My last week in office, we had the lowest number of illegal aliens. These people are here now by the hundreds of thousands. We are very clear, and I think most Americans are clear, that we have a broken immigration system and we need to fix it. Two different stances on immigration, and both Donald Trump and Kamala Harris doubling down on their positions regarding the border. Thank you for joining us for Denver 7 News at 6 tonight. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Jessica Porter. Immigration clearly a very important issue in this year's election and another presidential election this weekend in Venezuela. That could have major impacts on our own country. Denver 7's Angelica Abeladejo spoke with a political expert and with two Venezuelan immigrants to find out how. A taste of home, tequeño, sarrepas, and malta soda help Gustavo Grinsteins and Rosal Baguera feel connected to what they love about Venezuela. Venezuela is a very pretty country. But political and economic turmoil are forcing people to leave. Not being able to support your family, seeing your kids, not being able to have food at night. So that's why a lot of people are desperate to just leave and put their lives at risk. Presidential elections this weekend could change things. We believe that Venezuela is going to change this regime and we're going to be in a better position that so many people want to stay in Venezuela. Potentially slowing down migration and influencing our own presidential election. For the United States, um, it's in a way, a similar situation where we have a country that is very divided. Especially when it comes to immigration. It's this very complicated issue. But DU professor Jesse Acevedo breaks it down. There's actually two ways to talk about migration. One is entry, and this is where both political parties have a lot in common. With Donald Trump and Kamala Harris alike supporting border enforcement and telling migrants not to cross. Where the parties differ very, very much is immigrants that are already living in the United States. For Republicans, Republicans. Migration creates easy scapegoats. While for Democrats, it's about helping migrants get jobs, helping migrants get services to better integrate into the country. Heading into November's election, more than half of voters think immigration is a good thing for the United States, a Gallup poll shows. And Gustavo sees Harris, who's also the child of immigrants, as a beacon of hope. There's a lot of excitement from young people uh, like me. We saw with Venezuela that you know, maybe people are not paying attention and things change so quickly and the country went down the wrong route. I think it's important to get involved with politics because that defines the future of a country. In Aurora, Angelica Albaladejo, Denver 7. And going in depth here, some Republicans are criticizing Vice President Harris for her work on the border. Now, as VP, she was tasked with bringing investments into Central America in hopes of reducing immigration. Now, this week, the House passed a resolution condemning, condemning her for failing to secure the border. Colorado Congresswoman Yadira Carveo was one of six House Democrats voting in favor of that resolution. And that came just a couple of days after Carveo endorsed Harris for president. Looking closer, Denver has seen the impact of the surge of immigrants firsthand. More than 42,000 immigrants have been served in Denver over the last year and a half. The city says the majority of those, about 95 percent, are from Venezuela.